Hello friends, welcome back to Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. This is Mindless Max welcoming you once again to Heather Valley with Kaylee Walker. Now, last episode, uh, we fled our old evacuation shelter and found this new one. Uh, we've moved in there. Uh, we've gone for a little exploration, found a radio tower, ran all the way up to Brooklyn here, which turns out to just be a crossroad. Uh, we have wandered over here, found uh, the Kirby Trail, Trailhead. Uh, there's a crate up here I would like to open. There may be more next to it, so we're going to be working on that. And yeah, that's about where we're at. We're just trying to do our basics to survive at the moment. Kaylee did find these marlos berries next to a rip in space-time she's not sure what to think of them they were growing on these weird bushes growing in more of that fungal earth so there's she picked them but it's kind of an emergency ration at the moment she's kind of leery about how good they may be for her health uh, eat some pretzels and cookies and things like that because we have them. Twelve weeks. Do we have anything? Two seasons? Yeah, okay. Okay, we're satisfied. We are kind of thirsty. So... Okay, we had some water, at least. Okay, Spathy's still sleeping. It's a quarter after seven in the morning. Um... We don't need the screwdriver set and the multi-tool. So we're going to drop that one off. I don't think we really want to take the entrenching tool. We were going to drop that off here, actually. There we go. Kept carrying that with me, but I didn't mean to. Okay, close. Let's... Oh, right, we need to... Uh make ourselves a prying tool, because we don't have a hammer. Right? We don't have a hammer. No. So we need... Do we have a pipe? Got a large rock. It's an anvil. Really? Large rocks can be used as anvils. So that's good. One rock, please. Because that should have... Yep, hammering quality. Thank you. And the pipe. All we need is a makeshift crowbar. Uh, put it down. Pick it up. Throw the rock back in here. We're good to go. Hello, bats. The safest thing we've really seen an ant larva. Where is it? Way off over there. Okay. A pulsating sausage of glistening white flesh the size of a large cat. I want to end a set of squirming mouth parts. You know what? Oh, it's a boxer. We can see a boxers. A couple of them. Okay. We do see a huge ant. But they're kind of over there. I wonder if we can get rid of this larva. That would be good. Oh, a soldier ant. Those are definitely hostile. They're right on the edge of our vision now. I don't think anything else can see us. Just the ant larva. So we're going to try and take that out. DDT. One insect killed. Okay. Nothing else. Okay, the ants are now hostile to us, but that's okay. Um, they have a good chance of going hostile even if we just come close to them. I want the chitin, the sinew, and the endo chitin. Thank you. We don't trust those giant heads. We're gonna pick up that nine by eighteen millimeter casing. No corpses to butcher here. Okay. Uh not going to go terribly out of our way for all this stuff. A machete. Now that we will go get. That mangled corpse of a human, well they're not going to get up again. 
there's a, a drug bust gone bad here. Or not a drug bust, but a drug deal gone bad. Uh, there's also zombies. And we've been spotted by a zombie that's in terrible condition. There seems to be smoke over there. There may be a smoker zombie. And there's Amigo. He was probably running around smashing all the zombies to bits. Yep. Okay, we're going to let them do their thing. Because we do not want to deal with Amigo. Not happy about having one so close to the evac shelter. Flint. I'm really glad I veered east there last night because that would have been a disaster to run into that in the middle of the night. We do have our pistol, our 45. We may have been able to take care of it, but uh, if you don't have to, better not to try, right? Those can be uh, very early game enders. From Kaylee's perspective, it's just a big, terrifying, alien, other-dimensional creature. There's really not much outside the ocean that we can compare to it. Uh, what do we got? We've got a zombie that's seen this. Okay. Okay. And it's coming. Here it comes. So let's drop our backpack. Kaylee's been spotted. She readies herself. This is not her first zombie. No. But she hits it in her second blow. It grabs her. She smashes it again, knocking it off its feet. Bites at her torso, but fails to get through the Asafi vest. Ah, it cuts her socks. It claws her. Eating for her leg now. Come on. Hits it once more. And finishes it off. Okay, we're just gonna butcher you up. Anything on you? Uh, some bone. Oh, actually, let's wear our backpack. Now we'll get the bone. And we'll grab this casing. Now, did we see. Yep, there's some clothes stuff over here. So we're gonna go check that out. Might be something we could wear. Uh, checkered pants. Uh, there is a dress shirt, but it doesn't fit us. Camisole. Uh, technically used as an our undergarment. Um, we may be putting that on. Just because our shirt's in terrible shape. Hairpin, the wool gloves, panties, and the ski mask. All of this is very damaged, but... Um, that doesn't even give us any warmth. And I think it would interfere with our bra. So maybe we won't put it on. How are we doing temperature-wise? Actually, our torso is quite warm. Must be due to the vest. Oh, there are more than one crate. Excellent. Okay, here we go. You pry, but you cannot pop open the crate. There we go. A heat pack and an MRE. Yep. Two flashbangs. I wonder if those work on the... Uh, couple berets. Actually, we're going to throw the one that fits right on. Thank you. Sports drink and another MRE. Yeah. Okay. That's all of them. Okay. Can we disassemble these? Yep. Here we go. We have building material. Not like they're gonna refill. So might as well make what use of them we can. Yep. Okay. So let's grab our nails. I don't think we can fit the planks. No. Can we fit a panel? No. Okay. We do have all this wood ash. I guess we'll pick that up too. 
Oh, that is a lot of it. nice because that's that's one dose of cooking more or less so it's it's nice to take with you to travel in case you have something you need to warm up you're gonna be out for a day or so particularly if you have a vehicle or something to stash it in so you don't have to carry it on your person there we go grabbed all the ash may as well Sure, we'll pick up the large rock on the way through. Why not? Just trying to keep an eye out for any more nasties. Oh, pick up that rock. Can we smash them into pebbles if we make a uh, what's your, uh, slingshot? Oh, what's this? Oh, we see spider web. Yep, we spotted the giant web spider. Uh, ignore. Got some withered plants and sticks and things. That's some more construction material. Particularly for early projects. Let's just grab those. Grab the bullet casing. Okay, where are we at here? We're kind of heading through the woods towards the road that leads to the lumber mill. Batwing zombie spotted. Okay, it is where? Off there in the woods. Okay, so if we don't want to face that thing, we're going to go this way. Luckily, our bleeding from our leg ended pretty quickly. So we're actually in all right condition. We're getting hungry though. How long is it taking us to make each step? About 21 seconds, 20 seconds, okay. That's not terrible. Oh, it's seen us though. So let's drop our little backpack. Stop hauling. Yeah. Little bat wing zombie. Approaches this strange, droopy armed creature. Grabs hold of her. You know, she's smacked it a couple of times. It's still coming. And with that, she finishes it off before it can even do anything more to her. Okay, let's, let's butcher you real quick. Okay. Why do you not have items? Let's get your bones. Okay, we can continue south through the woods now. We do see a rattlesnake. See another stick. I'm going to avoid the snake. I leave it alone, it leaves me alone. I like this uh, plan. Okay, we found the road. There's a, there's a a bicycle wheel. No, we can pick it up, so it won't slow us down any. Zombie spotted. Way off to the southeast. So we'll just keep going straight south. Thank you. Hasn't spotted us. It may be chasing those beagles. Or it's just wandering around lost. 
Doesn't seem to know we're here. Yeah, it's just the same zombie. Okay, let's just cautiously head south. Okay, southeast. So we're gonna go west. We don't want to mess with that Mego. That's more what we were keeping our eye out for. There's the boxers. We passed right by the boxers last time, so we're pretty sure they're safe. I, I don't want their droppings. I can probably pick up the flaking rock. Uh, not the large rock, thank you. Boxers and bats we can deal with. Okay, we're almost home. Let's go in the back door. There we are. Okay. That was a good supply run. Yeah, all of that underneath us can go in there. And then... The endochitin, the sinew, the rocks, the nails, bullet casings, yeah, the ash. Um, and the heat pack. Yep. Drop the food. Always happy to get more food. Drop the vehicle. Bicycle tire in there. Okay. Drop the clothing. Except our earplugs. Drop our flashbangs and not the combat knife. No. We're using that. Okay, we are thirsty and very hungry. So we are going to have a bit more water. Drinks, there we go, we're slaked. And some pretzels. There we are, we're full. Okay. If I recall, we don't really have anything to read right now. Uh oh we do. Healthcare and piercing weapons, right. Right, we didn't finish that. Um Do we have anything we want to craft? Not in here, really. We could make some nail board trap. Well, we could make one. Hmm. Wondering if the two by sword would work better for us, but. Strong mixed alcohol. Hmm. What are you mixing it with? No idea. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot we can make. So. 130, how are we doing? Are we tired? We're lightly weary. Okay. Lightly weary. So we should we should do some reading, I think. So we'll grab our first aid book. And read it for a little bit. Okay. Yep. Good news is we're no longer slightly weary. Oh, why are our legs so warm and so encumbered? Oh, right, because of the knee pads and everything. Um, well, we could take. Uh, let's unload the emergency jacket and drop it off. So that'll help with our torso 
Let's also take off the knee pads. That helps there. We're wearing two sets of army pads. Why are we wearing two sets of army pads? Because we found a better set of army pads, that's why. Um, unload the army pants that are more damaged. Take off them. Okay. How are we doing now? Okay. Torso is still warm. Why don't we drop... Oh, okay, unload first. Sheriff shirt. Sure. Drop off the sheriff shirt because it's not going to last much longer anyway. There, now it's not warm anymore. Okay. That'll. Just got to wait for our temperature to get more comfortable. So let's uh, read the duelist for a bit. Okay, we're more comfortable now. Stop reading, yes. Let's drop those both off. Close that up, and just bats. Just gonna do a quick scan of the surroundings, make sure we don't have any unfriendlies. Okay. Pick a bird. No. We may want to head back south here to Thomaston and just see what we can pick up. Um, there's a small storage unit. There might be something there. So we'll head towards the road. Follow that south. Fox we can live with. We don't have a lot of food supplies. So. little worrisome. We've got a bunch of rocks, so... I'm only going to pick up rocks and things on the way back if I have to. Well, if I have room. Okay, there's one zombie here on the road. I, okay, maybe two. Three. Okay. Let's see if we can attract the attention of just one. Just one. Okay, good. Here it comes. We'll lead it up. We will drop off the backpack. That makes it so our torso isn't quite so encumbered. Most of our encumbering is now coming from the vest. But it's also our protection, so... Swing. Strike it. Good. She knocks it off its feet. Almost it's struggling to stand. Uh, we miss. It's still... Oh, no, it's on the ground. I think. Yeah, it's down. Okay, it's grabbed her. Hanging onto her ankles. Bites at her torso but fails. Oh! Bleeding. It's clawed. Her right leg. She just continues to mash at it with the hammer. Knocks it flying backwards. Okay, here it comes. And down it goes. Taking out combat knife. Cuts it up real quick. Uh, this one at least had some stuff on it. I'll grab the wallet. We want to check out these vehicles, but to do it, we're going to have to get rid of some of these enemies. Hello, zombie. Come on up. I have a friend I'd like to introduce you to. Back away. It grabbed us. Never mind. Ouch. Bites there on the head. Uh, she's swept it. She's knocked it off its feet. It climbed back up. It's, oh. Cut her left foot. And we got it. This is. Going to take its toll. Swinging this 
sledgehammer around is not the easiest thing in the world. Need it away from the vehicle, need it away from the vehicle. Thank you. Still only one. Oh, I think a second sauce there. Shoot. Shoot, shoot. Okay. I think I have to be careful here. She stunned it, sent it flying backwards. Knocked it off its feet. Grabbed onto her, bitter, chewing on her armor. Knocked it off its feet again. Climbed back up though. She's nearly taken it down. Oh, she finished it off just as the second zombie arrived. It climbs over the body of its dead companion. Starts swinging at her. She's swinging back, she knocks it flying backwards. Knocks it off its feet. Smashes it again, and then finally takes it down after it grabs her. We didn't manage to do any harm to her that time. Okay, spray can, there's nothing in it. Ooh, some apple cider, and an empty fitness. Okay, so we can just uh, shift everything from there over to where our bag is. Okay. Apple cider, and the thermos. And you know what, we'll take these bones too, why not? Our breath is that one that little fight went actually a lot better than I expected it to. And of course we're very hungry again already. There's two feral humans down here. And a pit bull mix that has been fighting something. Oh, feral humans are humans that have been taken over their minds by the zombie virus. They just haven't died yet. So I think they will also get back up. But their clothing isn't filthy at least. Unfortunately they're also intelligent enough to say avoid traps and throw stones at you and use weapons. Oh and open doors. Okay, the zombie reaches her, she knocks it off its feet. Oh, bites her torso, but claws her leg. Bites her on the left arm, grabs hold of her, and then she knocks it flying backwards and kills it. Okay, we've chopped it up. It had a revolver. Okay, I'll take it. Uh... Drop the bones. Catch your breath. Just a duck and a feral humans. I can't see to your current location. I'd rather not face both of them at the same time, so. There's also a zombie cop. These two are standing right next to each other. I want them to separate in a little bit. Okay. okay, I've got one. Now we just head straight back up before the other notices. What are you doing? He went into the vehicle. See if we can get the other one then. Nope, oh, they're both in the vehicle. You're smashing your way through. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Do I have both of them, or is the one just attracted to the sound of the other? Pickup truck's car battery draining is destroyed. Okay, so they're just smashing their way through the truck now. It wasn't running any- Ow! You're hitting the torso for one damage by the rock. 
Okay, so we walk up to the feral human and counterattack it. Uh, we stunned it, we swept it, it hit us in the left arm, climb back to its feet, knock it flying backwards. Um, counterattack it again. We're blocking with our short sledgehammer. And just like that, it's dead. It had a fire axe. First of all, we're gonna. Uh, okay, apparently butchering them isn't gonna be a good idea. Okay. I'll take your clothes and then we'll smash you. Now I know you won't get up again. I'll take everything you had. Catch our breath. We're in moderate pain already. Shoot. Come on. This seems to be right on the edge of the town, too. Yeah. There's the storage units. Okay. Here's the feral human. Over here. Yeah. How about you come over here? Since you've already smashed up this truck. They're just hammering at this truck. Can I move it up this way? There we go. Okay, come up here to where our stuff is. Okay, you're too close now. We're going to have to move in closer. Okay, the shot reflected off of our armor. Stun the feral human with a blow. Our skill and bashing weapons is increased too. We knocked it flying. And we... Okay, it hit us in the right leg, but we counterattacked it for 16 damage, and then finished it off. Ooh, it's got a headlamp with a battery. That's what it is. Okay, we're just gonna... It also had a fire axe. I've seen them crowbars before. I've never seen them with fire axes. I suppose it's nice to have something to cut down trees with if we need to. Even if they're not in the best condition. Okay, let's go deal with this cop. Lots of bits out here now, and a zombie child. She probably recognizes the one running at her right now. Manages to strike him. Grabs hold of her. Tries to claw, but fails. Hits her in the head. It hits her in the left arm. Right arm. She manages to hit it, knocking it back. Hits him again. And then takes him down. Oh, okay, apparently it was a girl. She quickly cuts up her fellow officers dead body. Grabs their radio and wallet. They're not wearing anything else that's terribly interesting. Okay. Good to get rid of that zombie child, but on the other hand, it's well down there. We can go into the back of the storage unit without attracting it. Let's get our backpack back on. Where are you? There you are. Okay. okay, we're going to just leave everything here. Uh, there's nothing we really need to take. We want the apple cider, though. I'll take that for sure. We're in distracting pain now after fighting that police officer. Now, what's this? Is this a fire truck? It is a fire truck. It has wheels. It has an engine. It has gasoline, and it has a battery. And it has controls and a seat. We may be able to get this going. Just checking to see if there's anything in it. No. Okay. So what we're going to do is swing down here. Climb the fence. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to make some noise. Something noticed. 
uh, tough zombies seen us. Do we see anything useful? The standpipe maintenance log. Yeah, nothing terribly interesting in there. Um, we're pretty sore. Don't really want to fight the tough zombie like this. Can we get you running? It started up. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Stop driving. Get all of it. Shoot. Okay, get the axes. You can't. Okay, so get everything but the axes. Can't even carry the re the revolver in our backpack. Really? It seems odd. developers are watching this, you may want to cons reconsider the size of a revolver in a haul inside vehicles. Okay, now, is that a storage unit? Yeah, there's a stow board there. So what we're going to do is throw all those into the storage unit and get out of here. Now, this fire truck needs some fixing up. Uh, it's got one usable gas tank. The other one's draining. I don't think it has any fuel left in it, because we're not dripping any. What? Oh, what is that? 5 by 50 millimeter hull. Forward. Go right. Go around it. We're going to go right past the uh, radio radio tower. Skill in vehicles is increased to one. Excellent. And the very, very nice thing about having this fire truck right now is if that Mego decides to make its way down here, we have probably the easiest method we have to kill it with. Running it over. that door. Just close all the doors. Haul everything out of there. Spathy, I'm back. Better yet, I managed to find a vehicle. Okay, throw the other fire axe in there gun here. Stop hauling. Close. Thermos, the two wallets. Painted bone, the radio, and then the apple cider. Now we can have something to eat. We do have all the protein rations. Let's eat the Neko wafers. Uh, you know what? The protein rations are probably better for us than the candy. Um, okay, we're not hurting anymore. Or we're not starving anymore. Now we've had something to drink, and it's almost 6 p.m. We are still in pain, so we're going to read the Duelist Annual some more. Get better with our piercing weapons on top of our bashing weapons. In case we decide to take up fencing or something. Okay, we're hungry too dark to read. Drop off your book. Eat another protein ration. Thank you. Uh, have some chocolate candy to wash that down and some water. Uh, let's close the window. 
and get some sleep. No, don't set an alarm. Yeah, just sleep. There we are. Life in evac shelter B05 is certainly more peaceful than A23. Completed the achievement first day of the rest of their own lives. So this is the first time you've woken up since it rolled past 8 a.m. on day 62 of spring. Okay. Okay, it is just before 5 a.m. She's awake. She's hungry. Uh, we have some popcorn. It's not very great for calories, but it is filling. So we'll eat that. We're going to leave the truck here for now. At least until I can get a hose and some gas for it. I'll also have to make sure it runs on gasoline and not diesel. Okay, let's keep heading southeast here. We're gonna head for this house right on the other side of this forest, because if there's a problem, we can zip out through the forest, hopefully. All right, so we're reaching the edge of where we saw our memory states that there's a building here, trash, so what do we have? So that must be the butcher shop with all the trash. That must be the dojo. It's tempting to stop in at the dojo. Actually, we're going to head there first. There may not be much inside. Okay, we're actually going to slow down to a crouch. We heard something. And it seems to have heard us. So we're gonna get up and walk. Tough zombie and a child. Okay, um... Let's use this... alley to our advantage. Okay, the tough zombie is the first one. Um... Drop... the back. Okay, it runs up and grabs her as she's taking off the backpack, bites her in the torso, fails to get through the vest. She swings at it, but misses. Strikes him. I think it's downed. Yeah, downed and grabbing. Ah, it manages to hit her in the left arm, causing her to bleed. Knocks it again. Smashing at it. Uh, ripped the ammo pouch on her leg. Oof. Hits her again in the leg. Bites her in the head. But she's finished it off. Okay, now the child approaches. Claws her. She's bleeding from the head now. She knocks it reeling backwards. Hits her in the leg. Arm. And she kills it. She feels guilty about killing the child, but it had to be done. We're just gonna remember those really quick where our backpack catch our breath crouch again now what do we have a Keltec it's a handgun it shoots uh, 380 ammo there's a wallet okay they okay, smash this drain pipe here we'll pick up the scrap metal We are now in distracting pain, and we heard something. Another one of our fellow officers. Okay, time to run. Mm. 
Okay. Let's drop the backpack. Where are you? Leather backpack, there it is. Another child. She manages to strike it after a few misses. She doesn't feel good about this. But it's down. She seems to have lost the cop. Nope, there it is. It's coming. It is a little injured from running through the bushes. She sweeps it, knocks it off its feet. Strikes it again as it grabs her, but not for much. Smashes it hard once more. It hits her in the arm, but she's hit it again. It hits her in the leg. And she finishes it off. A first aid kit. Another wallet. She dismembers the child, the officer. Runs back behind the building, catches her breath, puts the backpack back on. Picks up that first aid kit. Crouches down once more. Is it beginning to lighten? We can see a tough zombie. Yes, it is beginning to get lighter. Abandoning the idea of the dojo, she climbs inside the house. Some nicotine gum on the shelf. She quickly closes the window. An actual blanket. She throws it on for now. Some clothing. At this point, anything is good. Multivitamins, antifungal drugs, oh. That'll come in handy if she ends up against those mushrooms again. Body novel. A checker set. Something to entertain her and Spathy. Smartphone. Another book. A motorcycle helmet. No, she can't. Wait, what if she takes off the beret? Can she wear the helmet? Yes, okay. Shoot. Okay, she's hidden behind the couch. She's creeping along the couch, just grabbing things, sticking close to the wall. Okay, there's a bunch of things here, but we don't have a lot of volume left. I was hoping for another bag, but I don't see one. Uh, some red sauce. We can't take it. How about the coffee powder? No, we don't have the room. Uh, Handle that could, an actual hammer. No, oh, shoot. Can we take the exacto knife? Yes. Oh, battery. Springs. Okay. Creeps up to the door. Closes that curtain. Closes the one next to it. Okay. Denim shorts that don't fit her. An open window. It leads out into the woods, but for now we're going to close it. Here, we can turn this into a makeshift sling. Which we can then put on. Uh, those clothes don't fit. There is a basement. Another screwdriver, we don't need it. A backpack. Certainly take another backpack. I mean, that door is locked. More medicine. Ammonia? No. That will overburden us. Ambient, aspirin, heartburn, antiparasitic drugs. Good things, good things. Okay. The red sauce? We now are overburdened, but. For food, we'll do it. Beans, coffee powder, rice take all of it. We'll just carefully make our way home. All of this, all of this is going to come from the fridge. Okay, that's 
all risk taking. Open this bedroom window. Switch to walking. We'll rest when we have to. You can see a zombie dog off by the butcher shop. So maybe a good thing we didn't go any further that way for now. Catch our breath. Yes, we're quite warm, we know. But we're almost home. Three weight casing, sure. Handy for when we need to make our own ammo eventually, I guess. Or have the ability to. There's the fire truck. We're here. Spathy, a good haul. A good haul. We're gonna drop the food first. Milk went rotten. I'm gonna hang on to it. We'll empty it out. We'll go refill the jug with actual water. Guess we can use that. Um, butter, beans, apple cider, unfertilized bird eggs. What else do we still have for food? Just milk, okay. Drugs. Bottle, plastic bottle, plastic bottle. Nicotine gum doesn't come in a container. Um, plastic bottle. And then it's aspirin. You do, you do. First aid. Let's actually drop off this blanket here. So then we won't be overheated anymore. Let's catch our breath. Anything filthy? No. Okay. Drop off the books. Drop off the assorted other things. We're gonna set up the uh, checker set because why not? Oh, those are just in the wallets, aren't they? Okay. Let's just drop the wallets and see how that does for us. There we are. Glass jar. All this. Soap bars, ammonia, soap bars. And we still have some heartburn medicine on us. Smartphone, MP3 player. Bathroom scale. The exacto knife will keep on us because it gives us fine cutting. Let's go drop off this gun. And the clothing. No. Uh, you here. Into floss. Drop off checker set. Can we activate the checker set? Yeah, we can. We can totally play a game of checkers. How long does this go for? There we go. Play game. Positive morale. Love it. Okay. But it used it up. It's gone. Oh, no it didn't. It puts it in our inventory. Okay. We don't need two phones. So drop the uh, smartphone. Pour the hot milk there. We will, as I said, go fill it with water now. Now our water was up here. There's still more ash here. We're down to moderate pain. That's that's an improvement. I uh, don't like the state our head and left arm are in. We may have to uh, stick around and heal ourselves. Here we go. 
E, pour it into the gallon jug, thank you. Take your large rock. Yeah, we're overburdened. Those are heavy. Another rock. Let's see if we're getting a charcoal kiln going. So we can make charcoal and use that for things. Look at this wood ash. Back in. Uh, drop off you, you, and you. Drop off the water. It's not clean water, but you don't need clean water for cooking. For a lot of recipes. Okay, um, what do we need to make that? Find kiln? Charcoal kiln. We need a tool of hammering of two, which we can get from that house with a hammer. Uh, we need more rocks. We also need fabrication of three, so. Let's see, what do we have? We have a buddy novel. Ham Radio Illustrated and Crafty Crafters. Okay. Pretty sure, yep, buddy novels, just for fun. Crafty Crafters will take our fabrication to one. So that's a start. Now, uh, what do we have for bandages? That's food. We have a couple bandages. We also have those uh, adhesive bandages. They may help. Base bandaging quality, very poor. Actual bandaging quality, very poor. Base bandaging quality, good. Actual bandaging quality, average. Effect on bleeding, good. Effect on bleeding, minuscule. Okay, um... Be really nice to be able to make bandages, I guess. Uh... What? We don't need this emergency blanket anymore. Can we... Grab you. If we tear you up, what do we get? That's a makeshift sling. Where's the emergency blanket? Apparently we can't tear it up. Let's drop it. And butcher. What do we get? Plastic. Darn. Okay. We have lots more of them if we need it, but we also have that down blanket now, which is better. Um, oh, we dropped our earplugs. We want those in case we're going to fire our gun. We already have a good beret. This one doesn't fit. Do I really want to start tearing up things just to get rags? Yeah. Maybe I do. Okay. The beret, the beret. Okay, we'll drop it then. And butcher, yes. Could not salvage a rag. Okay, well that was pointless. We can make adhesive bandages out of medical gauze and duct or medical tape. Okay. Good to know. We can make regular bandages out of medical gauze, duct tape or medical tape, and antiseptic. Uh, don't really want to use up our antiseptic like that. Hmm. I don't think we have a lot of choice right now. We're going to have to use our bandages. 
Is something rotten? Oh no, it's the whiskey. It's in the filthy container. Okay, so we've taken our bandages. We're going to activate them on our head and on our left arm. Then we're going to read Crafty Crafters Quarterly. Oh, apparently our fabrication is already almost to level one, so that's going to go quite well. Okay, done. You can no longer learn from Crafty Crafters Quarterly. What can we make now? Anything useful? Nope. Oh, we're getting up there for ammunition. Uh, strong mixed alcohol. Antenna. We can make a blindfold. Well, that's helpful if you want to sleep. Uh, uh, duct tape wallet. Yeah, thanks. No. Um, the hobo stove. Oh. That might not be a bad idea. So what's this run on? Useful for defrosting and reheating food. Uses simple tinder. Okay, so all it does is reheat. Can't really cook with it. Okay. Uh, we could make a wooden table. Wooden frame. We can make a washboard. Let's go ahead and make a washboard, because at least then... We could clean up the filthy stuff we have. So let's see, what do we have for soap? Soap bars and any boxes of detergent? I don't see any now. Yeah, I don't see detergent at all. Okay, so just the soap bars. Let's grab what we can. Close that up. Uh, we need... What do we do? Oh, that's bathy. Okay. This motorcycle helmet will definitely keep our head a lot safer than the beret was. Oh, our torso... Oh, we've got all those extra bags on the extra backpack, the extra sling. Yeah. We are very hungry and we're thirsty, but we'll be okay for going out to wash some things. I also use our unlimited supply of water, though. Alright, so activate. Washboard. Uh, yeah, let's clean the pair of socks. Uh, we can clean everything. It's only going to take 23 of our soap. So. Washing, washing, washing. We're down to minimal pain. Perfect. The only thing we couldn't clean is that titanium ring. Apparently my Discord is quite busy today. Let's drop off the ring. Drop off the book. No, we're going to keep the book for now. Now we have all these extra bags. So we're going to throw the washboard into the dirty closet. Just because it makes sense to keep it and the soap in there, actually. Now let's drop off our makeshift sling and our backpack. Our military rucksack, I think, has more space in it. But right now, for our needs, the leather backpack's doing all right. We're still, of course, in a lot of pain. Um... Ooh, that Supreme Pizza is only going to last two days, but it's going to give us so many calories and joy. So we're going to eat that up. Uh, 20 hours, but it's sealed. Okay. Can 
Ravines also sealed. Uh, one week for the unfertilized bird eggs. Yeah, I'd prefer to cook those, so we're hopefully going to get up to the point where we can make things to cook. Red sauce sealed. Apple cider is not sealed, so we should drink that, actually. There we go. That one is sealed. Some butter. Mmm. Yeah. Uh, bacon. Sure. It, we're not hungry at the moment. Uh, it'd be better to be sated. So let's eat some bacon. There we go. Satisfied. Now let's um, read some. Yeah. You know, let's finish up the dual annual. Focus is actually pretty good. There we go. Piercing weapons of one. Um, dropping off to less annual. Can't use it for anything anymore. So now we'll start Ham Radio Illustrated. Easy way to get our electronics up to one. Hopefully we can finish it. like to finish it. Very thirsty. I don't like that. There we are. Let's eat up some... Not the butter. We'll have some bacon. And then we'll have some water. Nothing satisfies thirst like water. Okay. Um... Health is still not doing great. What can we build? What we should do is we should come over here and say what can we can build. Okay. Build the road barricade. Yeah. Build a dry stone wall. That will use up a bunch of our rocks that I'm wanting to save for the kiln. Um, oh, yeah, deconstructing those crates would have given us a bunch of fabrication. That's right. Oh, there's got to be something we can make. Maquahetal. Oh, we haven't used one of those since uh, Big Red. Oh, use up almost all of our duct tape, though. Hmm. We have a tool with wood sawing? That might be the uh, multi tool. Yeah, it is. This even has fine screw driving. That's excellent. Okay. And it has bolt turning. That's wonderful. Can we make lock picks? Might need fine hammer hammering to make improvised lock picks. Wires. Metal sign of two. Okay. That's why. So you need wires or we need metal sign of two, so like a, a hacksaw. Um now is our fabrication looking four percent. Our Malay is almost a two, that's good. Board, nail board, trap. Yeah, 
Yeah, unfortunately, there's just nothing that we really want to make. We're going to leave that window open for a moment because we're just coming out here and we're going to pick the willow bark. It's an oak tree. Didn't find anything. Pick the fern. Sure, we'll pick the fern this time. Why not? Willow tree. Didn't find anything. Calamine. Pick the alder tree. Yes, we'll grab some more alder bark. Black jack. That's useful for tanning that black jack, so that's great. Uh, black jack. Oak. Oak. No, I don't want more ferns. Uh, oak. Plum tree. Oh, good. We'll have plums. Oak, 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 pick the willow tree, no, I don't want to pick the fern, bunch of ferns, okay, drop off what we've grabbed, I don't think it's going to help us any, but we'll drop it, no, Oh, we can still reach our soap bars from here. do is come and grab our entrenching tool. What do we need for a fire ring? I need three more rocks. I also need a shallow pit. Okay, so activate the entrenching tool, dig pit here, uh, throw everything up there by the window, sure. Okay, we now have a shallow pit. Now let's go find some more rocks. This will use up the rocks I wanted to use, but we can get more rocks. One. Do we see any more rocks? We do. How about now? Not really. There's a large rock. No, oh, we do see rocks. All of them north of us. So that's a rock more than we need. Okay, so let's build a fire ring, which requires survival at zero, so anybody can do this. There we go. Now we have somewhere to burn things. Which is good. Let's uh, drop you off. Where'd you go? Entrenching tool. Get the fire axe. Uh, yeah, we'll drop the sledgehammer for now. So what I want to do is come out here to this dead tree. And activate fire axe, chop tree trunk and logs. There's no tree trunk nearby. Chop down the dead tree. Timber. If a tree falls in a forest, no one is around to hear it. Does it make a sound? Yeah. Can't do the elven path because we've cut down a tree. Okay, that's fine. This tree trunk in the logs. Chop this tree trunk into logs. Chop this tree trunk into logs. Shouldn't be any more now, but okay. And there is another one here. Okay, now we have some firewood. Oops. 
the entire reason for doing that. Okay. So, let's just shift one log into there. Shift uh, this branch and the splinter wood all inside. And then from there to there, just throw them all into our crafting. Hi, Spathy. I don't want to talk to you because no, I haven't dealt with your monster yet. I'll take my hammer back though. Okay, what can we make now? Anything new? Probably not. We could make a wooden needle that we don't have. So let's do that. We made it. So now we at least have something we can do tailoring with. Um, we could also make knitting needles. Which is good. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, consume the missing out, yeah, because we failed and ruined some of our splintered wood. Um, fabrication's up to 35%, that's good. Where's the knitting needles? Okay. Can we not make a table here? Uh, not fire table, just table. Yeah, you can build table. Where is a tool with hammering of two or more? Yeah, okay. How do we not have a... Okay. Should we make some cordage? We can make some cordage. Long cordage, even. In fact, we, we wanted to make a rope. We don't have enough for a cordage rope. Seventy-two withered plants of seven, seventy-two piles of straw of one. Oh, we're making it out of the ten bark and stuff, the birch barks, thirty-six wool. Oh, we can make it out of the willow bark. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make some cordage out of the willow bark. Nineteen willow bark of nineteen. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, let's just do five at a time. There seems to be some decent failure chance. Okay. And repeat. We've increased our tailoring to one. Just like that. Okay. Um... We can make safety glasses now. Yay. Um, and a straw basket. I don't think anything in here. No. Yeah, okay. Not much with what we have, but we're going to make some more short quarters just because they do come in handy. that for that. Okay. Grab our completed ones. Throw them down here. 
I'll have something to eat. Not the butter. Uh, pickles. And some hard cheese. Ye yes. We are now satisfied. Can we finish some... Oh, yeah. Stop eating. Okay, that popcorn was too much. The popcorn was too much. She's going to throw up. Let's go outside. Throw up anywhere you want out here. Or just go down to full. I'll be happy with that. Come on. I just don't want you to throw up inside. I don't have a mob. Kaylee accidentally stuffed herself until her stomach started hurting. Just wasn't paying attention. Until it was too late. Now she's standing outside. Oh, until her stomach stops hurting. There we go. Oh. Comes back inside, curls up on the bench to get some sleep. And her left arm has recovered a little. It's wonderful. Feeling a bit better aggressive from your exertions. Good. How are you very hungry already? Head is starting to feel a little better. Left arm is about halfway. Good. Good. Torso is at full health, but it's because it's got the armor on, so it's not taking as much damage anymore. Her right leg's good. Getting thirsty. She's sleeping quite long today. Okay. Arm and head are still bandaged. But she's awake. So let's, uh... Finish off that popcorn. That yeah, takes care of the hunger. Don't want to eat the dried beans as is. They're going to last a while. Clean water. Have a protein ration because that's more filling for you anyway. And we can probably go get more from the other shelter. We left the window open all night. Oops. Are there any new instructions? No. Well, with that disappointing news, that is where we're going to call it a day. So have a good night, and we will see you again here in Heather Valley with Kaylee Walker. Bruised, battered, still alive.